and we've continued to grow in the Angular One vein. So last October, when I did a show in London called Angular Connect, we were at about, we estimated about 1.1 million developers, and we estimate this based on the number of people who come to our docs website every month. By this metric, when we checked this month, we were kind of shocked that we'd grown by 200,000 folks, now at about over 1.3 million. So awesome, thank you for continuing to grow this community. We're in beta for Angular 2, and we were even a little more happily surprised when we found that already over 300,000 people appear to be using Angular 2 for building their apps. This is not too surprising, because we're already building these big apps at Google, with things like Google Fiber launched, AdWords about to launch. Um, I think it's gonna be very exciting. Angular 2 is in the final days. We've released this tracker. So on GitHub, you can go to our milestones, and you can follow along how we're burning down the final bits until launching Angular 2 final. Okay, so this talk is kind of about strategy, about how do I think about all of the development needs for my organization. And let me start off by saying, well, yeah, in Angular 1, we were primarily a tool for building desktop apps very quickly and in a way that's maintainable and very inclusive of many roles, like designers can get in into it and test-specific folks can get into it. If you listened to Alex's talk yesterday, one of the ways that people are getting the most engagement and uplift for their products is by engaging with folks on the mobile web, even more so than having a downloadable app. And so this is, I think, going to be one of the big focuses for folks taking advantage of service workers and some of those new APIs. If you're very successful, though, you may be able to get people to download your installable app. And if you're a team with a very cross-platform strategy like Slack, for example, maybe you've got something that runs on all of these flavors. And this is great, and you can do it. But the problem is there's a different team that works on all of these different technologies. And they all have different skill sets, and they don't really share code. So it becomes kind of a barrier for how do we get these applications out. I'm going to propose that Angular 2 can help. And this is the problem that I would really like to solve, is so that there could be an apps team who could have core competence across all of these platforms and build using a lot of, the, a lot of code that m maps across these environments. OK. The web platform continues to grow, and I think it's amazing. And they give us wonderful tools for achieving these goals. But there's a lot of hard things to integrate. And I think this is really where Angular 2 can help, is by providing sort of an easing function or a way that you don't really have to worry too much about these. And you can focus more on that user experience and less about how to satisfy the machines. 